Hello, hello, hello. Good morning or good afternoon. Sorry, it's just on 12 o'clock. It is Pip here from QueenPipCast.com. Thanks ever so much for tuning in this morning. It is, well, it's lunchtime, isn't it? So that's really this afternoon, but thanks for tuning in anyway. Hopefully some of you are on your lunchtime break already, um, or you might be at home not working today. But today I am doing another one of my Monday, Moody Monday Pick Me Up videos because, you know, Mondays are always a bit meaty, aren't they, really, especially if you've got to go back to work. So um, this video is today all about cheering you up and uh, giving you some lovely things to look at. So, <clears throat> oh, I've got a bit of a croak in my throat today. So the first card we're going to do today is this one. Uh, this is a, oh, I've got my autofocus on because my lights are going a bit funny in here today. Uh, this one uses the Painted Season stamp set. Um, with some crushed curry and Cajun craze and then this one also uses the painted seasons and this is using um, pool party and um, Bermuda Bay so I'm going to take them out the packets and hopefully then maybe my lighting won't be so bad I don't know why this keeps doing this to me it doesn't matter how low my lighting is it just keeps going white on me so I don't know lighting and me don't get on well that's all I can say even if I switch all my lights off it still goes white on me so there we go um however we will persist and keep going so that's what we're going to do today I just wanted to show you these um, couple of cards because Painted Seasons is only available this week. Oh hi, we've got Linda, we've got Donna, we've got uh, Jay or Barry I guess um, with us today. So that's nice. Thanks for joining. These are a couple of the cards that we did at class. Hey Donna, can't stay because you're meeting a friend for lunch. Yay, go and have a lovely time. Um, you've just got that stamp set and we'd love to see what I make with it. Oh cool, yeah we can, well you're going to see some um, good fun techniques today so that's good. So have a lovely lunch and catch up later and I look forward to hearing what you think of these cards and what we do. Okay, so um, this one uses just stamping and this one uses stamping with a technique. So I thought I would show you them both, uh, but we'll start off with the plain stamping. Let's start off with that one first. So the Painted Seasons, as I said, it's a bundle that's available and it's a bit of a different bundle really because normally you get the stamp set and then you get um, framelits or something to match. But in this case, you're just getting the stamp set and a set of papers to match. So it's a bit odd. It's not like your normal, um, your normal bundle that we have. So oh, what have I done with my inks? Oh, I lost my inks. Hold on. Oh. I was I was way too organised after class last night. I put them both away. So, <laughs> so the colours that we're using are Coastal Cabana. No, no, they're not. They're Pool Party and Bermuda Bay. And I'm not putting this light on up here because when I do, everything goes white. So we're going to take that off. Might turn this one up a smidge. Oops. Then we can see a little bit better. There we go. It's really bright outside today. It's lovely because it's spring, and I like that. But it does play havoc with my lighting on my desk because it's so bright coming in from the window on this side so hey hey we're getting there every time i do one of these it gets a little better and that is all i can ask for so hopefully you all had a really good weekend i had a good weekend I had lovely class yesterday as i was saying we had 16 people at class yesterday which was great hey hi wendy from australia lovely to see you See now it's still playing silly, doing silly things with the lighting. Oh well, never mind. We'll keep going. Um, so yeah, we had a lovely class yesterday, full house, and everybody seemed to enjoy themselves. So that was always good. I made one of my normal classic mistakes because I always forget something at class. It's just it's one of those things, you know. And now I tell myself I always forget something. So guess what? I always forget something um, because you get what you talk about, isn't it? So I completely forgot to bring these backings I have loads of them here I've got them all cut out ready to go um, so I've got them but they didn't get to class so never mind I can use them today that's why I thought I'd do this one again today as well we're going to change it up slightly because I'm not going to get the big shot out today so I'm not going to show you the framelits but the framelits you can purchase separately I just want to show you how it looks just flat uh, just ordinary stamping so uh, these are parts of the 
this is part of the papers that I've used here at the back. And I thought about putting it down at the bottom, and then I decided to put it up the top, but I might put it down the bottom this time just to change things up a little bit. And it's the back of the Christmas one. So on the on the flip side is the Christmas with the pine canes and the lovely pine needles and fir trees. Um, and then on the back is this one. Perry says, Sean to the rescue. No, sadly, I didn't call him. He didn't come to the rescue yesterday because he wasn't feeling very well. So, so um, no, I, we had to struggle on without. Actually, it looked all right without the backing. So, you know, it was just kind of straight on. And he didn't look too bad. Um, but it wasn't exactly how it was intended. So, hey, ho. But, you know, we always, normally it is Sean to the rescue. Normally Sean's here, there and everywhere. And um i say to him can you go and bring me my pink punch you know my um blushing bride or something or can you go and um you know grab me this or whatever and he's so good at finding all that stuff everybody all my customers are so amazed that they can he actually knows what a punch is and all that kind of stuff but yesterday i decided to leave him alone <laughs> okay so this is the succulent um flower that i'm just stamping in bermuda bay uh from from the stamp set and you can see how gorgeous a color that is and how deep that is i must have re-inked this one compared to that was this part of the video yeah it is i think the one we used yesterday at glass was a little bit faded or i did a stamping off i can't remember but it's a beautiful color i just love it so that's that's the flower that we're going to put on there and then we're going to just use pool party to pop in some leaves oh everybody's on today look at this hey jane's on hey hey jane hope you and baby um paige are doing well that's nice to see you and karen's on hello 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 wow everybody's on wow okay no pressure <laughs> all righty so then i'm just gonna um i just want to pop the the leaves on and normally obviously i'd do this if they were coming out underneath but actually the distinctive stamp is so strong in terms of its um inking that just a few little pool party stems is not going to cause too much of an issue there we go so that's how it looks when it's can you see that there that's how it looks when it's um just stamped straight on without lifting it up with cutting it out in the framelits uh, but i think that works okay our oh, Karen's on from New South Wales, Australia. We've got hey, we've got lots of Australians with us today. I like that. I love you guys over there. Lots of friends from Australia and New Zealand. That uh, pop on. What time of day is it over? There? Must be. What are you? Twelve hours? Are you like a whole day ahead of us? So is it tomorrow? Oh, I can never get the time zones right. <laughs> I always get those confused um but hopefully i'm not sure if you can see i have got autofocus on so let me bring it up and see if it will focus in for me can you see how detailed that is can you see that it's getting there oh yeah oh no it was ne nearly there come on it's trying but it's so detailed and the leaves are just beautiful just a really beautiful stamp set so as i said um it's available this week but it's only available this week so celebration runs out at the end of march which oh my goodness how is it that the end of march is like next sunday i just can't believe that we've got less than a week left of um of celebration and less than a week left until it's april and that's like properly into spring you know halfway through kind of spring at that point so i really don't know where the I just don't know where the year is going. Next month, of course, got on stage, so I'll be looking forward to meeting all of my lovely um, fellow demonstrators from across the country. Uh, plus, of course, I've got my adopted teamy Lola, who um, who pops over from Germany to be with us, so it's just nice. Oh, uh, Wendy says it's just after eleven p.m. Oh, okay, so this is kind of like an evening chill out kind of video for you. That's cool. All righty. Well, you just have a nice relaxing evening having a bit of a bit of a video catch up before you go to snooze cool that's good but is it still monday it's still monday isn't it just just till monday okay so yeah i think this time i'm going to pop it down at the bottom of the card base just to give you just to give you options because i like to give you options um 
but it's a beautiful stamp so i'm very sad that it was only here it was only really here for a month um just over a month i think and um, you can you basically you can earn it for free when you do a celebration order um when you purchase from me uh, for 90 pounds or if you're in australia and you're looking for an australian demo we have two of them on the on the um video today and you can always you know purchase from them for whatever the australian equivalent is which always sounds horrendously large in my view but apparently it's okay it's about the same um so <laughs> i don't know how much it is in dollars but you can purchase over there or from new zealand or from anywhere really that stumping up is uh, but if you want to purchase from the UK, then you can come and pop on, as long as you're one of my customers. If you're not one of my customers, then you go and purchase with your own demo, because don't come and come to me, because that's like we don't do poaching. Okay, so then I didn't bring out my stamp set that we used yesterday for this happy birthday. So I'm looking at the stamp sets that I have in front of me and trying to decide which stamp set I will go with. Let's have a look. We've got... Oh, we've got all adorned. That's quite nice. If I can get it out from behind here. Excuse my large... Oh, let's move my laptop out of the way. There we go. Put my laptop back so I can still see you. So we've got lots of love. Let's do that one instead. I like that. So this is another stamp set. Again, celebration. You can tell they're celebration because they've got celebration written on them. It's all very clever, you know. Um, and again, that's only available until the end of the week. And that's available with a £45 order. You get that for free. So, you know, if you can't run to 90 to get these and the and the papers, you could get that for, for your 45 Okay, so we'll pop that in there. I like that. No idea if it's straight. Oh, yeah, it's straight. That's cool. Good. Well, that was lucky. <laughs> Waste the time. If you just wing it, it kind of works. That's how I work it. Um, okay, let's put that over there. Right, what should we do now? What should we do now? What am I doing now? I'm trying desperately to come over here and see who else has come on. Oh, hi, Lucy's on. Hello, Lucy. Nice to see you on here too, my love. Right, so let's get rid of that. Let's put this down. Dimensionals, obviously. And uh, as we all know, no soggy middles. I am the Mary Berry of dimensionals, I think. <laughs> The very very stumpy cup. I've realised that I've been doing lots and lots and lots of um, videos and stuff, and all the time I'm talking about soggy middles. And then uh, my video this week is talking about something else that was on from Master Chef. Uh, I've I've become influenced by food, which is strange because I don't even watch Bake Off anymore because it's you know it's not got it, it's migrated uh, and it hasn't got Mary Berry, and um, so I don't watch it anymore. But for some reason, it's stuck in my head, and now I'm watching MasterChef, and that's stuck in my head. And so food has become a topic of my crafting. Very strange, that. You ever notice that? That ever happened to you, that something gets into your head? I'm sure, well, I hope not, actually. I'm a bit concerned that we're going to be watching Game of Thrones when it comes on next week. No, a couple of weeks' time. And then I'll have that in my head, which is not so good when you're crafting. Um, but we'll see. So... I'm just going to add on a couple of these. I only put one on the other one, but I think with a smaller, smaller sentiment, I can just pop a couple like that and then actually offset the three, the idea of the three here by popping one up there as well. There we go. So those are the Gala, uh, Gingham Gala sequins. Really cute. I love them. And they're already adhesive back, so you just whip them off and whip them on so easy okay so there we go that's our lots of love sparkly painted seasons card so that was the original so you don't need the framelits necessarily if you want to get the framelits um you can buy them now again runs out at the end of the month because obviously it coordinates with the stamp set that's going to go at the end of the month so there's no point in having one not the other um so yes yeah, so if you want that i would get that get the framelits and add that to your basket and make that part of your 90 pound order but there we go so that's two-way card that way then let's get on to the technique i wanted to show you with this card hopefully this is picking up your monday morning and you're now feeling a little bit more cheery and um you know a bit of crafting watching a bit of crafting doing a bit of crafting always helps it helps everybody you know cheer up and be having a good day 
Okay, so I'm going to pop a little bit of grid paper down. Ooh, she says. My grid paper is a bit curly. Oh, this was some off cuts I got. Sorry about that. Let's just pop that on there so you can't really see it. Oh, is that going to make it really white again? Yeah. Okay, let's not do that. Let's not do that. Right, so I have here Crushed, Crushed, Crushed Curry and Cajun Craze. Uh, this is Cajun Craze cardstock and this is the Crushed Curry cardstock. So we're matching the inks to the, to the paper as we always do. And then you could do this in very vanilla, I think. Uh, but I decided because the papers from the uh, Painted Seasons are in, uh, have got white on them, I decided to do white. So, oh, oh look, we've got lots of love. Thanks, thanks, Jay or Barry. Um, how do you manage to make cards so beautiful, but yet so simple stamping? Thank you. I oh, love you guys. <laughs> Uh, I, I always do simple and then the stamping up stamps are so great that they always come out looking beautiful so there we go it's not me it's the product that's what I always say um, but yeah so this I decided that because of this um, had white on it that I would use white as a background so I always use whatever is in the papers to try and dictate or not so much dictate but kind of help me decide what to what what cards to put it on what card colors to use etc and this, this, oh, this was a real, I, I really didn't want to turn this piece over. I was like, mm. but it's got mushrooms on it. Mm. But it's got mushrooms on it. And you'll all know that when I have my photographs taken, when I do my photos, and this is all Sean's fault because I bought these for Sean, okay? But these are my mushrooms. Oh, we've got Chris on from Australia. Hi, Chris. Got loads of Auss Aussies on tonight. It's lovely. Um, so yeah, so these are the mush. I bought Sean a whole set of these mushrooms from a fair, from a craft fair somewhere down in Winchester Way, and um, he started putting them on my cards. And then someone said to me, like putting them on in the frame when he took a picture of my cards for me, when he used to take my card photos. And then someone said to me, "Oh, I always know it's your photo because it's got a mushroom in it." <laughs> Um, at which point I realised that now everything had to have a mushroom in it and that actually um, it is now kind of my trademark to have my mushrooms in my photographs. I should somehow find a way of having them on the table like every time, but that would just take up too much room. But I do love them. They're very tactile, but I feel like I've almost stolen them off of him. But it's his own fault. He shouldn't have put them on my, <laughs> on my pictures in the first place. Um, so when this paper came out, I had to show it to him and he was like, oh, I really like that. It's got lovely mushrooms on it. <laughs> so... Um, He's a bit he's a bit mad about fungi. That's that's why he likes fungi. Okay. And beetles and bugs and all those kind of things. We don't talk about that. Right. So so you could do it on that, you could do it with the mushrooms. Yeah. But then I think the flowers would take. But do you know what? I'm not gonna stick it down and then we're gonna make a decision. Okay. You're gonna get to decide. So what we need for this is we need a um dauber. This is one of our sponge daubers. I've just marked it with Cajun Craze, so I know what it is. This is always handy. I have one of those little label makers, so I can make a label, make a label, and stick it on my daubers, so I know what colour it's on. Cajun Craze is not so difficult to tell, but some of the pinks are quite close to each other, uh, and the reds and stuff. So it's always good, and then that way you're not ever getting the wrong ink when you um, when you go to use it. So this technique uses um i might need my scrub actually let's get my scrub out because we might need to clean my stamps in between Oops. so let's do that pop that down there hopefully out of the way so we're going to use the larger flower this time okay and we're going to need our cajun craze so we're going to take our stamp and we're going to ink it up this caused all kinds of confusion yesterday so I, I said to the ladies I said just ink it up and then add your dauber and then stamp but lots of ladies yesterday stamped and then tried to put the dauber in afterwards and you can do that but it doesn't look as good as if you do it this way so you ink it up first with one color and then you just apply a small amount of Cajun craze in the center with your dauber and you can you just see that slightly darker in the middle that means that's on and then I always go with my central image first. So central image first. There we go. 
and then if it's got still a little bit of Cajun craze you want to just wash that off okay clean that off on your scrub before you go back into your crush curry all right my ink has sunk on my crush curry I think because we've been using it so much yesterday 16 ladies making cards with crush curry ink pad will push the ink away from the center but that's okay because we just will get it back it'll come back it might just take a little bit longer than overnight oh i've done that one a little close but you know i don't mind that's okay that is all right and then you just keep going basically give yourself some ink add a little bit of cajun craze stamp it down keep going once you get into the hang of it and the rhythm of it it's actually quite quick it's you know it sounds longer than it actually is hopefully that will produce actually i can probably get if i do ooh, a little bit more a little bit less there we go let's put that one up there and i'm going to try because i've got these so close i think i need to get a bit more in the middle what do we think i like there we go i love the colors on this the color combos are just pretty there we go nice so that's how you can get two tone colors on your stamping oh you can't see what i'm doing did you not see any of that let's hope that you did see how it comes out let's get that really close so you can give that a good view so you get that two tone effect but you've only stamped it once so as i say you can go in and daub afterwards but it's a lot harsher um and not I'm going to have to stand everything up, I think, because it's just too bright, isn't it? Even if I take it all the way down to nothing, it's so bright from outside that it just, it's just hard for it to, it's hard for it to focus on. Poor little thing. It doesn't like, it, it doesn't like my lighting. Okay, so that's that. But hopefully you can now see that. Can you all see that? Please tell me if that's looking all right to you. So that's how I did that piece. And then we're just going to mat and layer that on top of my um, crushed curry that I've cut to size. I'll get my reader out in a second. I'll tell you what sizes these are because they're, this is a nice size I use quite often. Once you get a decent size that you use a lot and that's easy to cut, then I tend to reuse it. <laughs> okay, so now comes the choice. So do we pop it over see i think when the mushrooms are down you're not going to you're not going to see the mushrooms because when the card goes on you're going to hide most of them so i think it is better the other way sadly don't you think better the other way thumbs up thumbs down have you all gone away is it still am i still alive i hope i'm still alive <laughs> i'm going to turn it over because i think that's the best way although I do love these mushrooms, but I have made quite a few cards with the mushrooms and I'm keeping them for sure when it's his birthday. Although his birthday is not in autumn, but you know, it doesn't matter. He likes mushrooms, that's fine. So we're gonna pop that down. So this strip I think is five centimeters by 14.4, or is it, so, yeah. So five centimeters by 14.4, it's one I use a lot. That's strange yeah um and then this is 10 by 14.4 in size so you're actually you're basically covering up half but it doesn't look like you're covering up half because you're going to put it as a strip on one side so with this strip over here it kind of it's a bit of an optical illusion but yeah here we go oh i've got comments now what paper dsp jane says you're a bit out of touch yeah well you've had you've had things like babies to go with do you know what i mean so you're allowed to be out of touch this paper is painted seasons jane so painted seasons hold on i'm gonna get oh i'll get the rest out for you so painted seasons is the bundle that you can get for free with celebration um and it comes with all of these papers lovely this one and the and the autumn one and the sun and the springy one with the succulents and then there was another one what's the other one gone what's this other one no 
what was it oh yeah the other one was this one wasn't it? i've chopped see look i've chopped it all up this was the christmas one so um on that side it's all kind of like flowery stuff and then on the other side it's all these geometric patterns which are all kind of wishy-washy watercolor look so for um when you put an order in of, of stuff anything for 90 quid um then you can get the papers and the stamp set together as a bundle free that's how it's working at the moment okay and these are the distinctive stamps so hopefully that's kind of obvious on here that they they look almost photographic in the sense that they have got brilliant 3d depth so that is the painted seasons bundle as it is so i'm glad you asked the question you know you've been busy you've had things on your mind okay so then this side we've got seven by ten and a half or oh, eleven okay so seven by eleven which means that this one is six and a half by ten and a half i do quite a lot of ten and a half and sevens okay and that works for all of us who are in the uk and australia and europe okay um well done chopping it up and using it that's one of my missions this year to use up the dsp oh jane yeah jane says well good good for me for chopping it up i know i am i am a uh, chop it use it love it chop it <laughs> love it chop it to pieces as carly would say um and yes we i i am also on the mission of using up all my papers this year because they're so beautiful and they don't do me any good sitting in the cupboard so i am chopping and using um but I also do quite a lot of cuts the same size. So seven is really good because on an A4 piece of paper, you can chop it into seven because it's 21 centimetres wide. So you can get three chops, like three strips out of an A4. Um, and then ten and a half, which is the Whisper White, that's half of an A4 piece. So again, you chop it at ten and a half and then you can go up in cuts that way. So I, I, I've got a whole set of cuts that I use quite a lot. And funnily enough, it's almost identical to the set that Kylie uses as well. So um, I, was, I was pleased that she came up with her um, stuff and it's, it's in my card layout sizing guide as well. But I will do some more because they are very handy to just have some really useful basic measurements on how to cut your cardstock up and get lots out of it you know because if you're making a couple of cards you want to be able to make sure that you've got enough cardstock and sometimes you can be running a little short so there we go right we've got another oh sandra's on hi sandra so for those of you just joining me just in case you've jumped in live and going i have no idea what's going on um it's pip Tobin here from queenpipcards.com and i am in the middle of my moody monday pick me up video in fact i'm nearly at the end to be fair because we're nearly done the only thing i need now is a piece of whisper white cardstock for my label and i am going to use my itty bitty greetings again um for the happy birthday because it's just such a nice size greeting for a card where you want everything else to show off you know you want to show off your actual um stamping and whilst you want to have a birthday greeting or something on there you don't want it to take up necessarily the whole card unless that's your aim obviously unless you want to take up the whole card now i did do that one in crushed curry i mean cajun craze i'm just going to do one in crushed curry just to see what it looks like okay sandra <laughs> Just to see, because I didn't actually try this out and see whether a happy birthday in that might stand out. Mm, no. <laughs> do you ever do that? You look at it, you do something and you go, no, that's not going to work. Not going to work at all. Right, let's clean that off because we don't want crushed curry in the Cajun craze. So this video will go back up onto YouTube tomorrow and all the measurements for everything will be up on my blog post tomorrow morning today we've started a new thing we're having um guest blogger from the team so we're going to have royal stamper by royal appointment guest bloggers because <laughs> we are the royal stampers obviously and um yeah we've got guest blogger lola today and then um and then we're going to rotate through other people who have blogs on the team and uh, bring you some loveliness from them throughout the coming weeks so that'll be monday mondays will be guest bloggers tuesdays will be my facebook live with all the dimensions and everything for my cards wednesdays as you know is always video day 
so we're going to do videos again on Wednesday and then Thursday is going to be a card just on my blog so I won't have a video with it but it'll be a card um, or some some such thing I say or some such thing because I've got things coming up we're doing swaps and team gifts and all that kind of stuff on stage so there'll be lots of different things coming up over the next few weeks Oops. and remember that um, you know as we pass from celebration into into the new um, the new month of April we've still got loads of lovely things going on so you know don't abandon us just because celebration is over right but obviously if you want to get these then you need to get in quick because you've only got until the end of the week okay so that's it pretty much I don't think I'm going to add any glittery bits to this one we're going to leave this one without glittery bits uh, so I have literally just recreated that one because quite frankly I think it's lovely I mean you could put a thank you on it instead you could make it like that um, and it is slightly different because the papers have got that wishy-washy effect um, so they're all going to be slightly different and um, hello we've got Sue we've got Jazz hello ladies nice to see you um, just at the very end of my video here so yeah so those are all the cards let's move this out of the way and move them all up a little bit so you can see them a bit better so there's those two and there's those two i won't turn the lights on anymore because it just washes everything out but see how simple it is to change things up just a smidge on this card we just turned the paper around the other way we did it die cut or we did it flat on and it's just this one's obviously i re-inked my ink pad that's what it is so this one's much deeper in color than this one i think i prefer this one but hey hey um and then we change the sentiment up you know just simple changes but you get a completely different look of um of what it can look like and here this was just showing you the technique um, of how to do this daubing um daubing on your card and again just a little bit lighter today because we've been using it so much over over the weekend at class but there you go so i hope that that's given you a little bit of a pick up on a monday um nice to see you see thank you card thank you sue i'm glad you think it's a pretty card that's ever so nice um so yeah so have a great monday everybody i hope that this has picked you up cheered you up on a monday um and for those of you in australia who are just going to sleep now going i'm going off to bed now pip shush <laughs> then um, I hope your mind is not wearing too much and uh, and I will see you again soon next week well I'll be all up obviously up on my blog as I said before that uh, but remember that next Monday our next ah oh, thank you hearts and stuff um, but next Monday it will there will be no more celebration because we'll be on April it will be in fact it'll be April Fool's Day I think next week so <laughs> um, I will try not to pull a fool and be late I will be here on time doing my video uh, but in the meantime have a fantastic week if you've got any questions then pop them in the comments I'm happy to answer questions and as I say tomorrow morning it will be up over on the blog with all the measurements uh, that I've used here alrighty so have a good rest of the Monday take care everybody and I will see you again soon cheers bye